Let's now address the navigation rules logic. So first of all, I'm going to move this option box to the side. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to put it around this area right here. I'm going to change the option numbers. Option A, B, C. Now I'm going to play the level and I'm going to use the keyboard to navigate the options. And when I try to navigate right, as you can see, the options will go from one box to another. However, I don't have much control over that. And so that's where the navigation rules come in. If I select the vertical box on the left, and I scroll down on its details panel, you can see that near the end there's the navigation section and this has all the four directions and then next and previous and all of them are set to escape. So what this is saying is if I am in this vertical box and I try to navigate in uh, this direction, it's going to try to escape to another widget and it will do that for every direction. However, I can change these values to have different behaviors. For instance, I can change the right property to stop. And this means that whenever I try to navigate right while inside of this vertical box, it will not try to navigate anywhere and it will not do anything. I can also change it to wrap. I'm going to set right back to escape and I'm going to set up and down to wrap. And what this means is that when I am at the uppermost widget in this vertical box and I navigate up, it will try to go to the other side of this widget. And then if I press down while on the last option, it will do the same thing. So I'm going to show that. So I start in option two, and if I navigate up from option one, I will go back to option three. And if I press down on option three, I will go back to option one. And this is what the wrap navigation rule will cause. I can then also set it to be a custom logic that determines which uh, option to navigate to. Let's say that I always want to navigate to option A when I'm navigating right from the vertical box on the left. I can select custom, I can create a new function, and then this function always receives the navigation direction, which can be any of those six values, and it returns a widget object reference. So in this case, I want to navigate to option A, so I'm going to pass it here, regardless of the navigation direction. And if I now play, and I'm navigating on option one and go right, I'll go to option A. But if I'm on option three, I'll also go to option A. You can also change the widget that you're navigating to depending on the navigation and on which widget you're navigating from. Uh, that logic is a bit more complex, but the plugin has a few functions that will help you with that and you can check them in the documentation.